Hi everyone. It's a Thursday, December 9th. Um, wonderful to be with you today. I hope you had a good week. Uh, I hope that uh, the Spirit of God is leading you uh, with in, in ways maybe you've not done before to love all to love those folks around you, right? We've, we, we talk, we're in this Advent conspiracy focus, Advent, the, the, the arrival of Jesus and conspiracy, figuring out and planning the best way to live in that reality, huh? And we've looked at, at worshiping fully. Uh, so much of the time we make the good gifts of God uh, idols in our lives instead of worshiping in Jesus and using the good gifts of God for his glory or spending less, right? We, we make the God of consumerism number one in our life. Uh, and, and we try to buy the things we all long for in Christmas, love and joy and hope and peace. You can't buy them. They're a gift to receive. Huh? Uh, we, we, uh, we looked at the idea of giving more, and we weren't talking about money here. We were talking about relationship, and we were talking about connecting in relationship with those around us and making our gifts do that. Uh, and what does that look like? Um, uh, and, and that's really powerful as you think about celebrating Christmas. Uh, and, and this week is the idea of loving all. Uh, uh, and we yesterday we, we gave you uh, uh, an example, uh, you know, a tool that you can use to do that. But as you open your eyes and you see uh, those around you who are hurting, uh, whom you can help, uh, whom you can gift in some way to help in some great need, uh, you are doing what Jesus did for us. Huh? That, that's, that's a neat thing. Uh, God so loved the world he gave. Jesus is the light of the world. The essence of Christmas is that the light shines in this darkness. And he pushes back, right? Uh, and, and that's what Jesus did. He healed the sick. He pushed back evil. He, um, he, he certainly preached the good news as well. So I, I want to read you a verse here. Um, I rarely read a, a verse like this in our devotions uh, because some could take it negatively, and I don't think it's meant to be. I think it's just uh, a tool for us, uh, a guide for us from God. All right, so this is from the book of James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if, if one claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to him, go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Now, a lot of folks, they, um, they, they, they struggle with this as far as, does that mean that I have to do something in order to receive what God gives me in Jesus? No, it's, it's a free gift. Uh, but having received that gift, uh, uh, um, the, the, the way that, that the Spirit of God empowers us to express it is to give, to give that grace away, to to, to, to have hearts that when we see a brother or a sister without clothes or daily food, we're not going to say, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but rather we're going to help them in their physical needs, right? Um, uh, and, 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 that, and that's what Jesus did. Uh, in, in the book of Mark, I, I, I love this, uh, the very beginning of Mark, and I, I think Mark is, is uh, uh, one of those books that really focuses on, um, I'm having trouble finding it here, it really focuses on uh, a relationship and and discipleship, right? Uh, and uh, and so we we get into the beginning of Mark here, and what do we see Jesus doing right after his ministry began? Uh, it said, and he calls his disciples, right? Uh, it says that evening after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon possessed, uh, and those who had various diseases, right? And and, and he heals them, um, <laughs> and he's there. To, to push back the evil, to heal people, to help people, to lay down his most precious thing, lay down his life for us. Uh, and, and, and so th we talked yesterday about the example that Jesus leaves us. Uh, this is the Christmas example, huh? that Jesus came and gave us himself that we might be free. We can bring his light. We can give him gifts, uh, as we looked at a couple days ago. Huh? Uh, uh, we can lay those gifts um, at his throne, uh, at his feet, not simply with an offering at church, but, but rather as we provide for those around us. You know, as as a group of Christians here at St. Matthew, we, we have focused on this together as well this last year. Uh, you know, I, I, we, we've done such things as, as supported Acres of Hope and Everyone Matters Ministry, both of which look to uh, help uh, single moms and children who, who may be homeless without them, right? Uh, we've we've uh, f done Feed My Starving Children here, and we packaged over 350,000 meals in this building. It's sent all over the world uh, 
this gift of food uh, to children and with it uh, a gift of a message about Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and we've had the Hope Wake, and we've gone all over the community, especially with our young people, and we've, um, in grace, we've helped those around us. And, and, and so this is something that we try to make part of the lives we live. And, and what we're doing this Christmas is we're, we're kind of giving it back to each of us individually and saying what we do together, the joy of Christmas is being able to see how we can do that individually, uh, to love all and to do what it takes to, to bring that love palpably into the lives of those around us. So, um, and when we do that, uh, uh, we, we, we receive and we give what Christmas is all about and our hearts are full of joy. <laughs> Would you pray with me? Uh, dearest Jesus, we praise your name for Christmas. We thank you that you are um, Emmanuel, God, with us, that you come and you come to us in our brokenness uh, and, and our hungers, and you heal us and you help us. And then you say, as the Father sent me, I'm sending you. We pray, Lord, that um, that we would, um, being touched by you, and trusting you with our faith, we might receive the urging of your spirit then to help those around us. And, and in so doing, to find out the reality that is more blessed to give than to receive, and especially to live in this truth of Christmas, uh, of a God who gave us Jesus and empowers us to love all. Pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Yep, may God, uh, no, we're done. I think that's Thursday. All right, we'll see you Sunday. Uh, either in person or or, um, or or online, and we pray that God will be with you this week. Um, put your eyes open. See how you can love all, uh, and may God bless you in that. Bye-bye.